Hey what's going on guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be smoking a brisket in my gravity fed master built smoker Gotta load up the hopper here. I'm gonna be using a mixture of hickory chunks and charcoal. Load up your hopper, Kingsford. I do have these um, master built fire starters. I'm gonna put a, a link on the description below if you're interested. But all you have to do here is go ahead and uh, stick one of these babies in here. You're gonna light it up, open up the top. Open up the dampers. Alright, the next thing you want to do whenever you're going to be doing a long smoke is you want to go ahead and introduce some type of moisture. What I did is like, I'm, I'm going to get this uh, two quart cast iron skillet or pan, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to fill it up with apple cider vinegar and then I'm going to put it in my smoker to have that uh, moisture inside the smoker throughout the This is your cook. standard um, whole packer style brisket just open it so up here you do have a couple of options if you want you can trim this I do have videos on how to trim a brisket uh, this one I, I was able to get a pretty decent one so I'm not really gonna trim anything off of this maybe just right here this kinda like this fat cap we can remove some of this you always wanna leave the some of the fat cap on only because that's what's gonna help um, keep your brisket kinda moist during the cook I also have different videos that um, show you how to select a bri how to select a brisket. So uh, just check out my channel. We have uh, a lot of stuff, especially for for uh, new to the smoking world people. All right, like I said, I'm not gonna trim too much of this. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and season this. I do have this seasoning, uh, a video on this seasoning. Uh, it, you can make your own, or you can buy one off the the shelf. I, I find that if you make your own, um, it cut, you can get a lot more. So we just season the brisket, a generous seasoning. Let's go ahead and uh, load this puppy up. So it's been a couple of minutes. Uh, the little fire starter down here has already done its job. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and close the 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 doors so that we can start getting our smoker up to temp I'm gonna go up to 230 230 230 so that's pretty much it you get you heard the fan kick in what it's gonna start doing is gonna start drawing your heat and your smoke from your your hopper into your smoker I don't know if you can see it already it's starting to come out in the back alright so it does take about between six to eight minutes in order for this to get up to temperature so while that is uh, going on we're gonna go ahead and uh, and go over some of the things some of the benefits one of the reasons I was very interested in getting this uh, this smoker is because it has the benefits of an electric smoker but at the same time it is seen as a traditional smoker as well because you're using uh, briquettes you're using chunks you can use uh, in the hopper so what that's going to do is hopefully by the end of the, the cook it'll give me some type of smoke ring which is, is what I'm really looking for but what I really love about this is that um, I'm not going to have to be coming out here checking it every 15-20 minutes to make sure that the chips are still smoking so that's going to be a big big benefit hopefully that's what happens with this cook but we shall see so there is a little hack or a little trick that I found to the hopper if you do own one of these uh, gravity fed smokers you're gonna notice or you're gonna know that down there is like a stopper for your charcoal or your or your chunks uh, but the grate down there it's the holes are a little big so what I did is I I, I did a hack on this or I, you know it's one of those ways to stop it if you're interested in that go ahead and check out my my video about that but as you can see it's been like a four or five minutes and we see a lot of smoke coming in this thing is starting to work let's just let it it's like Novocaine just give it time baby alright so one of the tips that I would recommend that you do is uh, get your yourself a standalone meat temperature probe 
what I like to do is just to make sure because this is an electric smoker I want to make sure that the temperature does not fall under a, or get below under a certain degree so what I like to do here is before I do any of my smokes I like to put one of the temperature probes right in the middle where it, I can read the temperature of my inter my internal temperature of the smoker you gotta make sure it's not touching anything that's going to uh, give you a false reading right so the smoker seems to be up to temp it's at 235 so it's gonna fluctuate a little bit up and down now it's time to go ahead and uh, load the brisket open it up cause the uh, heat source is coming in from this angle what I want to do is I want to put the, the round part of the brisket, which is where all your the, the moist part is, I'm going to go ahead and put it facing that way and with the fat side down to protect the meat as much as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and move that over now, The next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and for this one I, I'm going to add an additional meat probe because I want to keep tabs on the uh, internal temperature of my brisket so for this one I'm just gonna go ahead and insert a meat probe an additional meat probe in here right in the middle right in the thick of things so that I can uh, keep tabs on that one I want to hit no more than about 195 198 before I pull it out so I'm gonna go ahead and move my brisket up because um, I want to make sure that it is as far away from the fire as possible. You have a nice little space down here if you want to put something else. It's not too hot. Make sure I put my pan in here of uh, apple cider vinegar. So just a little trick I picked up. What I like to do is for the first four hours don't touch it. I mean just make sure you have enough charcoal, you have enough uh, chip chunks. Do not mess with the meat. Once it hits 140 and above you can go ahead and start messing with the um, with the bark a little bit so what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of apple cider vinegar into a spray bottle here and then periodically throughout the uh, remainder of the cook after four hours and before you pull it out you can go in there and you can uh, spritz your uh, the meat around all around and what this does is it's going to uh, give it a little a little bite and a little bark to it so if you're the type who likes a very um, not very but a kind of like a like a crust to it a little nice little bark to it this is one way of achieving that extra little kick of that bark alright guys so let me just give you a status update we're about close to 10 hours in my uh, brisket has reached 187 degrees so let's just take a little quick peek at, to see what it looks like oh look at that that looks good let's see how much uh, fuel has left it's almost all the way to the bottom as you can see right there so we gotta add a little bit more fuel so that answers that question between seven to ten hours All right, so the internal temp of my brisket has hit 196 I was reaching for 195 to 198 we're gonna pull this baby out and wrap it up see what this looks like oh yeah like butter Let me turn this off All right, so at this point right here, what you want to do is you want to wrap it up in, uh, in foil paper. Uh, I would recommend getting the heavy-duty foil paper. Don't skimp out on this because it will tear on you if you get the, the regular foil. I can just go ahead and wrap it one more time. Nice little tuck. All right, once you get it into a, a nice little wrap that you're good at, that you're good with, the next thing to do is to put your uh, your brisket into a cooler and let it sit for a couple of hours. Um, this will help soften the brisket that much more. 
make it nice and tender. All right, so it's about that time. Um, I am gonna pull my brisket out so we can slice it. It's been resting for about two and a half or three hours. So let's see what this baby will produce. Oh, the reveal. You guys can have your gender reveal parties all you want. I like a brisket reveal. Bring this up. Try it. Get all those juices. I have videos on how to slice a brisket, so I'm not gonna go too far into depth with that. If you wanna see how to slice a brisket, go ahead and check out my channel. What I am interested in is, does this thing create does this gravity fed, uh, master built gravity fed smoker create that elusive smoke ring that I'm always after uh, out of an electric smoker? So I'm going to flip this over because I am left handed. Got all those juices. Now I'm going to start cutting it and see what we have. Well, if that's any indication right there. I think we're going to have a little bit of a smokering, which I I've, have yet to achieve. Oh yeah, look at that. On a, an electric smoker. And in all honesty, this is an electric smoker. Because it's using electricity to figure everything out. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that nice little smokering. Get that, we get the Bentez going there. I finally can say I achieved a true, true smoke ring on this. I'm gonna have to try this one out. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is good. Mm. Mm. All right. This hasn't been the smoking beard. I do have other videos you guys you guys can subscribe to and like. Please leave a comment down below. Give me your suggestions, your recommendations, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Once again, thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.